All right, guys. So if you are hip to our vlogs, you would know that I was just talking about a camera that I won. I got this on eBay. Now I'll tell you the price as soon as I open it up because I want it to be a surprise. I've been wanting a Polaroid for a long time and I was doing some research and then figured out which one was the best fit for myself. Then I was just randomly looking on eBay and just bid on like hella different ones, thinking I wasn't gonna hit anything and come to find out. Oh babe, there's Star Wars. Uh, it's, it's filled with uh, newspaper. And the first thing is Star Wars uh, checks, like bank checks. All right. So. <laughs> so here is the actual camera. It is from the 1980s. Clearly, I haven't seen this as well, so we are both about to see it together. So you're about to get my actual reaction. Don't mind the shiny uh, hand tat. I just got it, so it's not looking weird. It's just hella Vaseline on it. Finally. Wow. Ooh. Oh, and here goes the buddy. I don't even know how to open this thing. Let me see. Oh, that's where you load the film. But how do you open this? Oh, I'm just, okay. It just feels like you're going to break it. All right, so this is it. The Polaroid One Step, the uh, if you can see the 600 Land camera. Where's this uh, lens? So that's what it looks like in there. Super excited to actually uh, get this going, but first thing first, I need to clean this because this has been around for God knows how long and. Whomever had it probably did not clean it whatsoever. So let's go ahead and do that. pretty nice obviously I wasn't expecting it to look brand new or anything but the way I wanted you know I just wanted to clean up you know any of the debris and all the the buildup that's been there for years but yeah I think this camera is pretty simple you just load the film here take the pictures here Cool thing about, or interesting more more so, about this camera is the, there's no flash. So the flash, you actually, there's like these little cartridges that you buy and you put it inside here. And then once, you know, say you take a photo, there's usually 10. I think the standard back in, you know, the eighties or whatever, the standard was 10 Polaroids. So the usual cartridge for the film, or I'm sorry, for the flash, it comes with 10. Uh, flashes as well so like once you take one photo you know you're gonna see that there's nine left it like you know dulls out kind of so it's pretty interesting but um it said it worked hopefully it does if not i'm definitely gonna return this shit and get my money back but um yeah let's go ahead and test it out I'm gonna come clean with y'all. I've never loaded this film before. So we're about to find out together. I don't even know if you're supposed to take that off, I would assume. Oh. Wow. Uh-huh. And then now, if 
you guys can see here, it says 10. I don't know how easy that is to see. Let me try to make it. Oh, there we go. So let's go ahead and go outside and see what we can do. and I just wanted to see what the pictures look like. These are just two test shots I, I just wanted to test out the camera with. Nothing very artsy fartsy, but I do like the, you know, my euphorbia with the shadow. And then this is just a close up of our philodendron. But yeah, I think they look decent, especially for what it is. And you know, I'm just glad it works. I wasn't expecting the sharpest image. This is just more so for um, honestly like I just want to shoot like product shots with this, like just to give it a different texture, a different vibe and something to actually like, you know, like a tangible object. But yep, that's it. This is the uh, final result. I don't know if it's fully developed, but I did wait about 15 minutes. Buddy. Buddy. Hello. So this one I waited like, I would say like, almost 15 minutes and this one is probably like on its 12th 13th but i'll keep an eye on it and if it develops any more i'll let y'all know but for the most part i think this is pretty much done you can actually see the color of my wall in the balcony you can see the color of the euphorbia you can see the color of the pot and the plant so i think it's pretty much done but yeah like i said i'll keep an eye on it let you guys know if there's any further update but this video will not end here. I'm actually going to go ahead and shoot tomorrow with it um, in the morning. There's a few things that I have in mind that I want to shoot. So let's go ahead and get to it. and there's a lot of light leaks and clearly you can see this one there's also these weird dots right here here is the first one i took you know i had to put my stamp on that i also noticed that there's like some weird markings here as well but this one is pretty solid like i really like this one even though there's like little specks right here but i think it adds to the photo you know what i mean like you know it's a polaroid for crying out loud like it's supposed to look like this but uh this one is pretty solid like i don't mind this one as well but something happened with this one i don't know what hopefully it wasn't like oh these two shots are the only ones that are going to be good because that would suck but i mean honestly i'm still not mad at it um this like bush right here has been like ever since we've lived here I've always watched this bush grow as the seasons change, so it's kind of sentimental to me. But um, I wasn't able to capture it in full, like how, you know, in all of its glory, like how I wanted to. Um, I should have, you know, moved more this way, but I was kind of scared, as you can see in the clip. Um, I was going into oncoming traffic, so I was more so um, focused on my life rather than a photo. But yeah. I don't know if this is going to change much, but it looks like, you know, this is what it's it's going to be. But, you know, things like this happen. I'm not tripping. Pretty sure it's going to, you know, other pictures are going to come out fire and then other pictures are going to come out like this. That's just the name of the game. That's, you know, that's that's the whole part of Polaroid. But, yep, that's it. That's my review of this camera. Here are our three photos that we shot with it. Obviously, there's going to be many more to come, but for right now, these three are it. 
but I appreciate y'all tuning in. Thank you guys for supporting. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. But it's your boy, Plant Man P, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.